Hey YouTube, good afternoon everyone. It's Kurt and I are Manila here. So, if you notice it's uh, late afternoon now. It's 4.22 p.m. I'm in Kainta area. My destination for today is uh, Kubao area. Uh, actually, I'm going to workplace for some urgent matters. So, let's see how much time it takes uh, at this time of day to go there. Typically, you know, if it's a uh, lunch time or right after lunch it, it typically uh, takes 20 minutes to travel there so today or this time let's see if it's uh, if there's a big difference uh, between the time okay so it's just raining if you notice everything is uh, fully wet and um, and messy okay so as much as we can, let's, let's be really safe on the road. We don't want this. Um, we don't want to get caught in any accident or um, yeah, everything's slippery when wet, uh, especially on a motorcycle where you only have like two wheels to balance your weight pump. Okay, so uh, join me in my journey once again. So j just uh, hang on and see how much time it takes uh, to go to my destination. Alright, so of course, again, obviously, I'm using the Vespa S125. And uh, I hope it doesn't rain. Although I have my rain gears now, I, I bought recently a raincoat. Because I know it's been raining uh, quite frequently. So I need, I really need a raincoat to ensure I don't get sick. <laughs> Actually, for that reason, because last time I've uh, traveled in the rain, I got flu. Okay, and having flu is isn't really good at all. I I bought myself a, a good raincoat, although it's a one piece. Okay. Because um, I'm using a scooter, I, I don't, you know, I, I don't intend to use it uh, in, in my cafe for hundred. Okay, so if you notice, uh, it starts raining again. So I'm gonna stop somewhere where I can wear my raincoat. Okay, because uh, you know, weather today is really unpredictable. So. You know, 30 minutes ago, everything is really hot and uh, sunny. Then. Okay, so I'm back. So yeah, still uh, drizzling. So I got now my raincoat. It's it's color green. And if you notice, I also have my extra helmet here. So I'm actually expecting someone to tag along with me later on. I'm not sure how this works. I mean, the, the raincoat that I'm using right now, I don't know how it's in comfort level or it'd be distracting to, to use. All I can see in my rear mirror is my raincoat. You see? Wearing this is really distracting. guy by dude just throw something on the street what to run yeah some pedestrians do that they just don't care they're just gonna step into the road without even trying to look at it. I mean it's pretty common now that there's a lot of uh, riders out there so if you're a pedestrian out there you should be like looking at every piece of road that you're trying to utilize pedestrians pedestrians are supposed to be just on the sidewalk you don't want to get caught in any accident times like this where traffic is really heavy try to find a pack okay this is the pack where everyone every motorist like motorcycle riders goes that's the most efficient way to do it 
you don't need to like reinvent the wheel. I mean, if you can see them going through or passing through something, then just follow them and uh, you know, they, they serve as a guidance uh, for you. Right. But of course, when you follow a path, definitely you have to watch out your side and everything around you because uh, sometimes they really squeeze into a very tight space or maybe a, another car might not be noticing you at all. Okay, so it's still back in traffic. So one thing I noticed about using raincoats, aside from it gives you so much, you know, wind drag, because uh, you, you act like a, a wind sail in the middle of the road, right? So the tendency is, uh, you know, if the speed goes beyond 50 kph you can really feel the the wind drag okay so it's really not advisable to go faster than let's say 60 it's very for at least for me i feel really it's inconvenient uh, running at those uh, speed so whether or not the rain is uh, heavy when you're wearing a raincoat you you maintain the speed limit because uh, you know it's not very convenient to Right. So, and if you also notice, uh, well, what I bought is color green raincoat. Some of you might dislike it, some might like it, but for me, you know, when what what I consider in buying this is something that would really be noticeable when 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 it's raining, definitely. Right. Okay. So, once again, I'm back. And traffic uh, going to Blue Ridge area, and also when when wearing this raincoat, you know you have to also bear in mind that you have a like when when you're riding, you have like a big cape at, at your back, so be cautious about like you know it can it can get caught in a side mirror of another vehicle. I, I'm a bit happy with this with this raincoat. That's the reason why I don't wear raincoat. Oh well I'm forma. But I learned it by the hard way is uh, you know when one time when it was really raining hard. I didn't wear a raincoat. I tried to be. I tried to pick the rain, and only to find out I was the one who, who got lost. Or even on that on, on that day, you know, I, I was like sneezing very hard, got colds and uh, coughing. Then the next day, there you go, boom, flu for one week. It, it was hard. So. By then, you know, I realized, yes, I might be needing a raincoat. Doesn't matter how I look, how bad I look with it. But I need to be, bawal magkasakit, right? So, I need to be healthy. Right, so I'm in Kubao area. It's uh, 4.54 p.m. So, can't recall what time I left, but I'm gonna put it all together in the video. So as you can see, again, I tried uh, traveling to, through this route in late afternoon and see how much the, the difference in terms of travel time, okay? So I hope you enjoyed my journey and for now, be safe on the road and uh, make sure to bring in your rain gears because nowadays, rain come and go any time of the day, right? So bye for now and be safe on the road.